Hello and welcome to Vegas for the final round of season 1 for my F1 23 My Team Career Mode here today for part 16. One race to go, let's get into it. We come into qualifying now in what is to me a very tricky track. It is quite fun to drive once you can, once you can get it nailed. Some very, very long straights as we come to the end of our first lap. And that puts us into P11, just behind Fittipaldi then. But, as you can see we're on the engine, we've been having some gearbox issues since Kota. And that's going to carry on continuing as we go into the very tricky corner. As we, and as we put our foot down, coming out of the sort of slalom bit, the gearbox has jammed. It's revving its nuts off and it's now what four races in a row we've had a gearbox issue. Started off in Cota, then Mexico, then last time out in Brazil on the line. We're gonna have to change the gearbox up for the race. And that's our qualifying done then. So we are going to put in an old air gearbox so to avoid a penalty hopefully. So and it's still in the pool, so we should be alright rather than a new one. Because I don't think we're gonna have the pace in this race. So starting a bit further forward will still help us hopefully. But let's go to the Vegas Grand Prix. We might be in the middle of the desert here, but it does still rain in this part of the world. It's raining right now. How is that going to affect things down the world famous strip at the Las Vegas Grand Prix? The heart of Las Vegas has been replaced with sold out grandstands spanning 17 corners, three straights, two DRS zones. It all adds up to a total of 3.8 miles. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. Fernando Alonso lines up on pole position. Charles Leclerc alongside. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Perez, Ocon, Stroll, Norris, Albert, Gasly, Bottas, Russell, Magnussen, De Vries, Sargent, Hulkenberg, Sonoda, Hamilton, Sainz, Fittipaldi, Oscar Piastri, Verstappen, Joe, and Brown. That's it then. It's time to go racing as we head down trackside for today's race. And here, of course, is Anthony Davidson. Joined once again by former Formula One driver Anthony Davidson. And they've had a lot of on-track incidents recently. That could leave them low on confidence. It's not an ideal situation by any means. When you get into a bad run like that, there's always a risk of frustration creeping in, which can cause more mistakes and locks you into this vicious cycle. Hopefully today they can get through turn one cleanly and stay calm for the rest of the race. Right, mate, it's the final race of the season. There's nothing to lose here, so go out there and enjoy it. So we still got a penalty anyway. I don't know what I was thinking. Why didn't I just put in a fresh gearbox? But anyway, we're doing medium to hard. Hopefully the gearbox survives and we're racing in Vegas and we've got a good start we passed the Alfa Romeo we've passed the the world champion of Max Verstappen in this Red Bull we're now side by side with our teammate we have a massive tank slapper and nearly go into the side of our teammate and now we're struggling to get the power down and we've been done by the Ferrari of Carlos Sainz as we go down now the first very long straight up the inside of us is Verstappen but we send it late up the inside of the Ferrari we're side by side now with Fittipaldi he gets ahead of us but we're going to sneak up the inside of the awkward corner and now a little bit off the track we pass an odor next up the road is Lewis Hamilton there's a lot of big boys at the back of the field here. Very interesting indeed. As uh, up ahead now, we catch Hamilton napping up the inside we go of the seven time world champion. And we're ahead. Maybe those hard tyres aren't fully up to temperature yet. There's now next up. This is Sonoda going wheel to wheel with Lewis Hamilton through the long, long left-hander and he is through 
It's an old as we send it late up the inside of Logan Sergeant. We catch him napping, but we nearly put ourselves into the wall there. And now it's a drag race down towards the next corner. As we're side by side with the Williams. In the background is Sonoda and Hamilton there. Hamilton's going to make it four wide briefly. Hamilton's up the inside. We keep a pin round the outside of Hamilton. Sergeant's being mugged. Sonoda's also through. As now we head down the next straight. And we're looking for those up front. As now we head into the next tricky corner, the two houses wheel to wheel, we try and get the, up the inside, we're now battling De Vries. On to the end of lap 5 now, De Vries box, I think we had a slight damage with him, as now Lewis Hamilton, the straight line speed of that Mercedes has absolutely blitzed our Lamborghini like he's not even there, we have nothing to fight back with as well there, as we're on the back of Hamilton still as that was Max nearly putting it in the wall giving it a little love tap as lap 7 more gearbox issues to finish the season we've lasted 7 laps of fresh gearbox has not fixed our problems when I say fresh but an older gearbox as we're doing it, the exact same thing as qualifying, but being mugged as well. Through goes Barrett, through goes Max, through goes Fittipaldi, through goes Sainz as we nearly make contact with the Lando Norris then in the McLaren. And as we try and get the power down, the gearbox is jammed. We've just got to hope to get up to speed very quickly. We're going backwards. Though we tried to keep it going, and if this was to happen somewhere like Monaco, we might have a chance of keeping them behind, but not here in Vegas. We've got no chance, and this track is basically 99% flat out with a couple of corners in it. But we, I was hoping that this may just fix itself, but it didn't, and at the end of lap 8 we are going to have the worst possible end to the season as we come into the pits then to retire the car we've had a lot of ups and downs this season and this is definitely the lowest as we retire from the Las Vegas Grand Prix Outstanding fight for the front position today, and it's great to see it paid off for them. They do so much for the sport that you can't help but be delighted by today's race win. So Sergio Perez wins the Las Vegas Grand Prix and along with that makes it a double for Red Bull as they win the constructors with that result from Perez. Max also getting his way through from his bad grid position, the now three time world champion. Of course re-retired along with Valtteri Bottas as well, he retired later on in the Grand Prix. Fittipaldi could only manage 15th, very frustrating then for us to round out the season with a result like that. Here is the final driver standards, Max Verstappen, world champion by 
57 points. We finished 9th. Fittipaldi finishes 13th. We got 41 points compared to Fittipaldi's 9. We never challenged Lando as was my aim at the start of the second half of the season then. We finished 6th in the constructors i think that's very good in our first season in the sport and hopefully that lays the foundations for next season i hope you've enjoyed this first season of the career mode we go into 2024 with a fairly solid base now that we have laid down this season what we do with fittipaldi i don't know we'll decide that over the winter but i hope you enjoyed this season and i'll see you in season two goodbye